have a look through your body, through the muscles, the joints. <clears throat> Notice both where your body feels good and where there is any form of discomfort. Where your body feels strong and where strength is needed. where your grounding is, your base, your foundation, and where you can explore this space. <laughs> Notice your breath. Flow openness of the airways <clears throat> the fullness of the breath Notice how you feel. Which of the three qualities, which of the gunas is active? Sattva with its balancing properties. Rajas with its movement, activity, based properties, but also it has expectations. Tamas with its heavy properties. Yeah, they can be good, bringing stability, bringing groundedness, but they can also be heavy. So you always look into both of these aspects. That's the word. Both of the aspects of these qualities. Check in with your potential to be happy today, to enjoy. Svarupaya <laughs> Namaha Om Shri Sat Gurave Namaha Yogi Natchidasya Padena Vacha Malam Shavaya Vasya Chavai Kikine Yupa Karotam Bravaram Morina Patanjalim Anjali Ranatosmi Om Shanti 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 Bring your hands in front, walk them forward, stand your fingertips to lengthen even more, to lengthen also around the outside of the shoulder blade, uh, these upper side ribs. Uh, that's what we want to achieve with staying on the fingertips and walking 
and we reach out right let go to your shoulders to your neck tops of shoulders to release um tensions that might be there day-to-day -day tensions one more breath in creating that space softness and breathe out let go walk back up with the next in breath sit tall wait till head feels clear if there's any kind of imbalance then wait for that uh, then bring your hands in front of your chest lift them up with the in breath reach up so move your shoulders maybe a little around so that you can keep at least the fingertips together to lengthen up to the sides and for that maybe you need to come longer through your spine or together exhale side foot down maintain the position of your upper body inhale lifting up reaching up try to straighten the arms as much as possible exhale side foot down so focus on your spine see it as a center lengthening up and the tops of the or the fingertips in this position as sort of an elongation of the spine as an extension of the spine two more lifting up inhaling reach up exhale side what's done keep palms facing each other last time inhale I'm reaching up and exhale side towards down keep the hands on the side on the fingertips where they are uh, uh, where they can settle down roll shoulders a couple of times then just the fingertips on the floor rotate out your left arm at the shoulder lift it up and exhale over keep stay on your fingertips bend the elbow towards your body as you reach over inhale back to center exhale arm down onto the fingertips then rotate out right arm lifted up keep the fingertips bend the elbows towards your body inhale up stay long exhale down and again one more time on each side lifting up left arm reach up elbows bend or the elbow bends right one and stay low through your left hip inhale exhale arm down on fingertips so the arm needs to reach a little down yeah over the top of the shoulder and the upper arm lengthening on the right side leaning over to the left elbow bending towards the body inhale up and exhale arm down lengthen away so keep fingertips on the floor chest lift and walk them slightly out so the at least the middle finger ring and index finger they stay on the floor and then walk them back and then have the fingers behind you and then slowly lower onto the palm roll pelvis forward move through the front pelvis rolls forward the navel looks sort of diagonal up towards the other side of the room and the mid chest bone looks up shoulder blades broad and they look up deep breath in long and strong through the back even arch shoulder blades want to come together and then inhale slowly releasing to come up and hands on knees take a breath in take a breath out bring your right hand across your back the left hand onto either right knee or the thigh so that this movement of coming over 
turn to your body just slightly and then lengthening up with the in breath and then look behind you with the out breath. So work with the sides of your torso. Inhale, lengthening, make the waist longer. Exhale, turn. Use the muscles that come from the sides diagonally towards the front of the tummy. Inhale, lengthen through the center, exhale. Work with your right shoulder blade, try to move it back into the space behind you, just the shoulder blade. One more breath in, and one more breath out. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Sort of let your spine unravel. Bring your uh, left arm across the back. Palm faces outwards, right hand somewhere on your left thigh. Lengthen or stay long and then look behind. So working with the torso only, lift as you or lengthen as you breathe in, down to the tailbone. As you breathe out, navel draws a little in and you turn. Inhale, stay long, exhale. Think of your left shoulder blade, moves back into the space behind you. And it stays firm on the um, ribcage. Inhale, slowly unravel. Exhale, roll through the shoulders. Okay, good. Let's come into Kapalabhati. So if possible, into Vajrasana, you see. You can stay in cross-legged if that feels not comfortable. If it feels comfortable, <coughs> but not 100%, try to roll up either blanket or the cushion and bring it just before the heels. So that there is a bit more space for the thighs, the calves, and there is less stretch over the front uh, of the thigh and the knee. Okay, you can always try that. Okay, we start off with first up uh, <coughs> the natural position for it, normal. Position, hands on tummy, one on top of the other, and then long through the center. Breathe in, and with the out breath, draw back. Inhale. Let go, exhale, draw back. So if you have a little bit more capacity, try to keep your pelvic floor engaged throughout this um, Kapalabhati, not in a gripping way, again, just a gentle engagement. So let's start, stay in that, um, stay at that stage if you prefer, inhale, <coughs> exhale. <coughs> Inhale, and exhale slightly uh, next to your left foot. You can take the knees a little more out if uh, that feels more steady. And <coughs> try this, your left arm up and behind your head. So your right hand can be on the floor or they can meet hold hands, so uh, obviously palms meeting, the um, arms back and behind, look up towards your elbow, inhale and exhale. Okay. 
Inhale out to the side, right three arms, exhale down, then onto the other side. Just like here, being mindful of the shoulders, of the lower back. So if it doesn't feel comfortable, it feels too strong, too much pressure at any uh, part of the spine, don't do it. Keep the hand down and the upper arm up. Otherwise, come in strong and long through the spine. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, arms down and then back into Vajrasana. Hands onto the knees, tilt slightly forward. Inhale slowly and exhale, draw in, pelvic floor and up, lower tummy in and up, navel, in and up, chest, uh, the uh, chin towards the chest bone or collarbones, hold. No breath, empty space, hold that. Really slowly your tummy when you want to breathe in. Slowly breathe in. And out. Okay, good. So let's come up into standing. From here, let's do little birds. Balancing. Tuck toes under and see if you can. Sit back, really stretch over the foot sole. If the toe joints are not happy at all, then keep the weight on your hands. Try to flex the toes. It's a good movement, you know, feet, they need to be, they need to have some form of elasticity. And the toe joints, it's good if they have this mobility as well. So if you're good there, then keep your gaze in one, then the other, knee off the floor, legs close together. So you can squeeze a little in the thighs to have balance and gaze at your focal point. Long through the spine. And from here, now we go up. Stay on your tiptoes, slowly come up. You're gazing at your focal point. You're gazing at your focal point. Stay on your tiptoes, lift the arms overhead, reach up, and then side leg. Take a deep breath in. <clears throat> And a long breath out. Let your body arrive and land in this position. Okay. So do some movements with the hip joint. Circles on this spot. They can be low. You can even keep your toes on the floor and circle over toes. And then make them bigger. And then relax and go over to the other side. And relax. And then come into middle white stance. And we go into some side lunges. Lengthening over both of the inner thighs. Uh, 
over to the other side. This is a nice evening movement as well. Balances the energy of the pelvis, moves the hips again, if uh, most of our days are just in flexion and extension, so walking, sitting, and this rotation to the side we hardly have. So it's a nice movement if you want to move your hips in the evening. Okay. Take your right foot out. We go into side ankle pose, Parshva Konasana. Left heel a little back. Strong through both legs. So here you try to draw the knees towards each other and maintain that. Then slowly lower down, rotate out, left arm, lift it up, take it over, come onto your elbow if that feels accessible. You can put your even hand on floor uh, if that is accessible and feels good, lengthen. So here we're reaching from the left outer foot to the fingertips. You can look up or straight, bring your chin a little in. If you need balance today and grounding, look down. But keep your hips drawing towards each other, the knees drawing towards each other. So you have a really steady base and then lifting chest. Chest bow up towards the ceiling. Inhale, take your arm up. Exhale, take your arm down. Look down, inhale. Push the floor away, raise your right foot, bring your foot forward and over to the left. Bend knee over ankle, pointing over midfoot, smaller toes. Rotate out, right arm lift it up and take it over. So here, this is a pose where we focus again on the outside of the shoulder blade. Yeah, this whole area around your shoulder blade, underarm, to lengthen and open. Hips drawing towards each other, knees drawing towards each other. The chest bone wants to look forward and look slowly up. Keep your right arm active. Deep breath in, keep your legs active. Long breath out. One more deep breath in, long through the side. Long out front. Inhale, bring your arm up, right arm. Exhale, right arm down. Look down. Inhale, push the floor away with your left. Arm forward. And we go again into the revolving. <coughs> Hurry with me. Now look towards the wall, whatever is in front of you, that wall, and both hip bones want to look towards it, squaring a little more. Then your back leg, come down onto your knee, nice and slow. Okay, so from here, lift up, reach up, and you come into this lunge, so your hip moves slightly forward. And then think of you want to reach the wall that is on your, uh, not the, your, on your left side, uh, right side, so on your right side. So left arm moves over to the right. Keep that length, hand on the outside of the knee, elbow on the outside of the knee, or shoulder on the outside of the knee and you can come into Anjali Mudra if you like. <clears throat> Take the hip a little further forward so you come forwards towards the knee more into lunging yeah, because that gives more freedom to move the upper body. Inhale, 
legs again they're drawing towards each other the hips the knees strong legs see if you tuck your back toes under and gently lift the knee by pushing the heel away how that is strong back leg lifting through chest bone Next in breath, slowly back. Back to center. And then with your hand on the knee, you take your back heel off and then you pivot forward. Okay. So any issues with that pose? Yeah, you're all clear. So stay in that length. And have rather space for your um, for your pelvis so come into this lunging forward because that makes it easier to then come over because for that coming over your back hip dips a little down yeah so it comes into that movement of slight rotation and then stay long first. So first I suggest lift the arm up as if you want to reach the ceiling like in warrior one. And then with an out breath, the um, left hand, left knee, with an out breath, you bring them close together. And then where your body is happy, Anjali Mudra, that might be too strong. You can bring your left hand on your lower back. Any is good. Tuck your right toes under. And then see if you can move the heel back. To gently and slowly lift the knee off the floor. Strong leg. So this back leg immediately grounds and takes charge. Chest bone forward towards the left. Long through the spine, looking good. I know, I said the, 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 the legs. <laughs> Inhale, slowly back, by knee lowering, upper body to center. Then left leg pushing the floor away, feet towards the, uh, the starting position and then bring your legs closer for a moment. And circle. Okay, good. Um, would you all have it uh, accessible either for your elbows? Either wall, can you see? Elbows against the wall to come into this half like a, a dolphin against the wall. So to work with this, um, with the arms, or chair, the, the outside of the sofa, the um, arm, arm rest side of the sofa, that also would work. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so have your fingers interlaced and elbows, they are in line with the shoulders. Vijaya, have a look. Arm reaches back, have a look, like this. So you want to have the elbows in line and then the forearms against the wall and then you push the wall away. So you get this length. It's not a comfortable position for most of us. Then you move away from the wall. Take the hips back. Take the hips back. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. You can soften the knees to have a bit more um, ease in the back if that's better. 
Now push the wall away with your forearms and the wrists to get this length in there. If you're on a table, then you have the same position, but then you think more of drawing, keeping the elbows grounded and drawing the hips away. You think of them being super glued. Yeah. Okay, so it's this this part. Yeah. Does, do you feel it there, Sarita? This part. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Two more deep breath in. And at the same time, when you're doing that, keep your lower ribs a little in. Draw them in. So you again isolate the shoulder part. You can always take a breath and go in and out again. And then slowly stop. Slowly ease away from the wall. Roll to the shoulders. Okay. Good. So stay tall. And <clears throat> start off with a comfortable standing position. Hands on the lower back. So you can have the hands fingers up and the, power, the, the wrists down. So what I would like to, uh, you to try is you're thinking, or you can do it this way as well, you think of you move your hips, the back of the pelvis down and the front moves up. Yeah, so you want to do that, tilt back by moving, sliding the fingers down. At the same time, you're lifting away from your um, pelvis with the lumbar spine, the mid, the thoracic, lifting up. And then maintain the length. Remember, this needs to feel like the elbows out and the fingers in somewhere along the rib cage to get more this feeling of lift through the chest. Feel the pelvis move down at the back and up at the front and spine lengthens, elbows coming closer, hips moving forwards, tops of shoulders relaxing down and come up. Do a few times. You want to have this even arch through the back. So the arms of the pelvis, they are useful for feeling that the pelvis grounds down and the spine lengthens and lifts away. For that, your inner arches, inner thighs, inner legs, they're drawing up through the center, through the spine. See the spine as Again, an extension of that inner thighs coming up, lift chest, standing camel, and back up, and releasing through the shoulders. Okay, we go into Natharajasan, left leg grounding, so weight shifts immediately onto the left leg. Strong through the leg, lift up through the entire leg, and then relax through your right. Bend the knee, hold onto the ankle, level. Get a focal point for your eyes, leveling the thighs. And then keep the thighs level, move the foot away from you. If you want to come or try to come into this um, bow arms, so both arms back, 
and lifting up and have the same sensation through the back as you did. The spine lifts away from your pelvis, even out throughout the spine, tops of shoulders staying down, you stay upright. The thing of your chest wants to move up. I know temptation is big to move forwards. We had enough change sides. Yes, the other side. All right leg supporting. Lift through the leg. Think of both the inside and the outside lifting up. Lifting up through the pelvis as well. And then left leg, bent knee, level first, squaring hips, level the thighs. And that might be enough. This is quite a big stretch over the front of the thighs. So if you feel that's enough for now, then keep that. Otherwise, one or both hands around the ankle, move the ankle away, lift the chest. Keep that bow-like sensation through your back. Excellent. Again, when you feel you had enough, then <laughs> you come out. Okay, good. So from here now, when you have uh, finished, then you can circle, release a little through the hips, through the thighs, strong pose for the legs as well. And then come towards the front of your mat. Lift your arms up, reach high up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, have your hands on the floor, bend your knees if needed. Lift your chest away from your legs. And then keep that step back, right leg. Heel draws away. Tailbone tucks under. Again, you can you tuck your tailbone under. So this is this leveling of the pelvis. Left next to right. Stay strong through the legs. Strong through your um, back. Strong through the front. Strong through the arms. Next inward, lift hips into downward facing dog. Stay there. You can walk if you like. You can stay still. Draw navel, lower tummy a bit more in. Look towards your navel. And think of this space around the outer shoulder blade and the underarm to keep them open and long. Soften the knees a little more to, to focus on this upper part. This can be quite tight. Next out breath, slowly release knees down. Elbows bending, slide onto your tummy. And when you're there, hands are next to the chest, elbows swinging in, drawing down, tops of feet firm on the floor, and then lift into copa, chest forward, long what we did just now. The pelvis tilts back. The spine lengthens away. The chest lifts forward, shoulders drawing down. Exhale, release back down. 
inhale come into the puppy so keep the hips over the knees and slide forward lengthen release deep breath in long breath out deep breath in with the out breath let the pelvis roll more towards the thighs and think of the cat pose the cow pose sorry to lengthen and lift forward and the next in breath draw back up into Vajrasana take a deep breath in a long breath out one more deep breath in and one more long out breath let's come into the mermaid Draw your right foot forward, right hand behind you. Stay active in this pose. So we want to use it for same movement, long over the front. It all helps with the back bend to have length. And if you can, the top of the left foot pushes the floor away. So the hip comes a little more up, roll it in. So the, the thigh rolls a little under long. From there, tummy lengthens away, chest bone lengthens away. Your right hand pushes the floor away. So you get structure all around that pose. You can use it to lengthen and open and um, use the mobility of your body, or you can use the strength and bring it into structure and take it from there one more deep breath in in this diagonal space right shoulder left knee inhale back to center stay tall without collapsing change side so the right leg comes front, across the front left moves around the back left hand uh, right moves around the back, sorry. Left hand at the back. The top of the right foot pushes the floor away, so it gives you a feel, it gives you that lift through the pelvis. Roll in the right, uh, yeah, the right thigh all the way in. So you come more on the side of the knee. Come in long through, navel moves away. Chest bone moves away, left hand pushes the floor away, right hand is somewhere on the left side. Look behind you. Deep breath in, long breath out. Keep and maintain that structure. One more breath in. And exhale slowly release draw back towards you left foot to come into the heel seat which lesson we want to go on to all four so if this is not your preferred position then you can come into all fours tuck toes under and then move back hands pushing the floor away knees lifting Lightening or lengthening through the legs. Focus again onto your the sides to lengthen around the shoulder blade, outside of the shoulder blade, outside of the shoulder joints, the upper side ribs. And next out breath, knees slowly down onto the floor. And slide again forward onto your tummy. Okay, so if you like your, to use the cushion, we go into Shalabhasan. If you'd like to use the cushion, do that for the knees or for the thighs, not for the knees, sorry, for the thighs to give more structure, strength, 
encouraging the body to work with the spine. Start off with the hands in front and on the fingertips and lengthen again. So squeeze firm the cushion, the toes pointing away and your chest lifts and lengthens. You look ahead like a low sphinx. Keep squeezing your cushion. And then carefully, mindfully bring your arms around you, palms up, lift, lengthen the arms away, and then lift your legs. Keep the legs drawing back, the arms drawing back. Lift the arms, keep drawing back. And then release down, all the way down. Let your heels roll out. And then do that again. Squeeze in. And come again onto this low sphinx with stretched out arms, squeezing in, lift the spine away. And then here again, one hand around you, the other hand around you. So stay high in this pose, lift the leg, bend the elbows, see if you can reach. If not, don't worry about it, stay in Sphinx. If you reach, hold the ankles and move the feet away. Lifting chest firm. Lift the legs a little. Feel your entire back integrated in this movement. Slowly release down. Let go of your feet. And take your head to the side, elbows out, heels out. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. One more deep breath in, one more long breath. Then stretch your left arm out overhead and roll onto your back. Yeah. You can keep squeezing your uh, cushion. Now take it up, upside down table, arms up, legs up. Your back broaden, shoulders broaden. Inhale, lengthen the arms even further up and then towards the thighs, beyond the legs. Lift your head up. Keep squeezing your cushion. Hold. Inhale, slowly back, head onto the floor, into upside down table. One more, lifting up, inhaling. First the arms up with the head still on the floor, but you can feel that pull. And then continue, inhale, lift your head, lift the arms and then draw them forwards beyond your um, thighs. Keep holding. One more breath. And then inhale, 
slowly back onto the floor, then bend your knees, take your cushion out to the side, <coughs> bring your feet onto the floor. Okay, so in this position, have the hands either on this side or maybe keep it on your tummy. You go into this um, seat to flower breath, which is, you all know that, with the in breath, the legs coming out, knees out into butterfly, and the arms overhead. And with the out breath, back to start. Yeah, so inhaling out to now, after this focused practice with bending back and keeping the legs really active, to now soften them. Let the inner thighs relax. Let your upper body stay open. Yeah, because we've worked with that. Exhaling, drawing back to center. Inhale, open. Do a few more in your own um, pace. And when you feel that you want to stay either in the butterfly or in the semi-supine, then do that. So slowly come into a position that you can relax in. And bring knees to chest as well. If your lower back needs a few circles, do that. Anything to relax and to release so that when you lie down, that your body is happy. That there's no feedback of any discomfort. If you want to have legs up, that is also excellent now. And that state is good for the back to ground even more because we have done lots of work with the back. To offer it grounding. <clears throat> when you are in your preferred position, head is supported. Then let your body relax, let go. Completely be at ease. Body knows there's nothing to do right now.
everything go physically throughout the body. All thoughts go, all emotions. Breath coming and going. Deepen your breath. Any movement? Again, back into your body. Bend knees. Roll onto your side. And from your side. Uh, 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 uh. Notice how your body feels now. The muscles, the joints, the breath. Mental quality is dominant. Breathe in. In. 
inhale, pause, <clears throat> exhale, hold, open your eyes a little, inhale, pause, stay firmly grounded in yourself as you look out, connect to the world outside. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Okay, thank you.